best thing. I know most of these guys and girls. Good afternoon, sir. We meet again. Your name again? Yes, Mike, that's it. From Warrington, in occupied Lancashire. That's it. I, I can say that in... Yes, yes, yes. Occupied Lancashire. Right. Right, what have we got here, Mike? Three-inch Marshall, so she's one, uh, one quarter full size, isn't it? Now, did you build this one? No. But, uh... It's 60... birthday present off you want that is superb. I didn't get that when I was 65. Brand new, never been steam. Never brand new, never been steam. Compressed air, being now running on steam. And of course, the safety requirements on this is exactly the same as Fiddler's Ferry or Rooney Power Station, isn't it? We don't realise. Thanks, Mike, for bringing it along. Good afternoon, sir. Keep going. And your name? Yes, Morrison, where are you from? Sorry. Buxton, that's it. And what have we got here, sir? Keep a rustle. Four inch rust and brox, that's one third full size. And what's the working pressure of it? Dead on spot on the red line is 100, yes. And did you build it? Good. And have you got anything else on the stocks at the moment? Have you got anything else on the stocks at the moment? This is super. Thanks again for bringing talking to us. Hello, young sir. How are you doing? Good. And hello, hello there. And yes, Robbie. And what have we got here, sir? Four inch barrels of that for this engineering miniature fills the gap in our history, doesn't it? Thanks very much for bringing it along. And your name, sir? Where are you from, Alan? Stoke, which part of Stoke? New, Newcastle, let's buy the flag for the Stafford here. Right, Scammel Mechanical Horse. Yes, we tend to think of Scammels producing dirty big wagons and tractors, but we've got these rubbish things. The railway companies used them where they were taking mechanical vehicles into buildings that were designed for horse and cars, wasn't it? And did you build this? He built it for you. Um, it's electrically propelled, is it? Superb. Thanks for bringing it along. What scale is it? I would say about two inches to that, two and a half. Disabled wheel cars. Recycling. Nothing new under the sun. Thanks for bringing it along and thanks for your support. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Coming into the arena now, we have the full-size ones and leading our procession is really one of the original local engines uh, the Dale family David and Julia Sam and Charles with their lovely single crank compound uh, little Mac making their way in the coffee's arrived so I've just been told This was acquired early 1960s uh, by David's father, the late Colin Dale, who was really one of the founders of this rally. Ably assisted today by uh, Peter Holden. You wouldn't believe it, but Peter actually drove Spitfires years ago, but uh, we won't go into that. Um, set home by the Dale family, Colin, along with David, was one of the founder members of uh, the Bug Lawton Rally. And uh, David has organised this section for us today. past the commentary point. Uh, good afternoon. Are you well, gentlemen? Oh, yes. 
Got the afternoon off Ayr. All right. Uh, <laughs> the lovely Aveling and Porter tractor belonging to the Woodward family from Buglord, just down the road there. Uh, nice to see this engine, believe you me. Um, Now, passing us now is probably the newest engine in our system today, the Aveling and Barford, uh, belonging to, uh, to our old good friend Nick Whittaker. Um, these were a design that was originally done by Aveling and Barford, uh, sorry, uh, Aveling and Porter, with, uh, with um, Rustam's uh, Proctor at Lincoln, and she was actually made uh, in just after the war. Most of them went to India, but this particular engine was supplied for people in uh, Stockholm. And uh, going by us now, I think the oldest, oldest engine of the day. Uh, the owner doesn't quite come in that category. Neil Williams, uh, and she was built 1889 now, down in the port of Rochester. Um, beautifully turned out. Uh, Neil spent a lot of time on this engine. Uh, new gears, a lot of boiler work on it. Uh, so much to be done. So going by us now is the Avery Porter roller. This was the engine that spent many years working for Lemington Spa uh, Urban District Authority.
the one on Neil and Tracy's Abling here, where it really shows stuff. Very elderly engine this one, as we said earlier on, with the styling of it. And engines never really changed from the last ones that were built, 1920s, up until the early 1930s. What killed the steam traction engine? Well, to start with, Thanks, Neil. <laughs> Lovely. John Richardson. 